everybody. I'm Rebecca, owner of Holly Rustic Wood Crafts, and it is finally time to paint our BOGO kit of the month. So y'all voted on the Patriotic Cow this month, and it is time to paint. Although I know some of you have already painted, because I've been seeing them posted inside of our craft kit group. So if you have painted it or when you paint it, make sure to post it in there. We love seeing your finished kits. Um, you do not have to paint this patriotic if you want. I know we're really close to July 4th, so you can pick whatever colors you want. Make it um, bright, make it summery, um, get creative with it. So I'm just getting all my colors which come in your kit, so you should already have these. Um, and then I'm going to paint it like the example. So let me know if you're here, if you're painting, if you've already painted it, let me know what's going on with your cows because we shipped a bunch of them out. So hopefully some of you are painting cows tonight. I know it takes a while to get the date out there because um, we wanted to make sure everybody got their kits before we did it live. So. Um, when you got your kits, you probably had all these little circles still in the pieces. Hi, Karen. How are you? Um, so you just pop those out. Are you painting with this, Karen, or have you already painted? So with the um, sunglasses and these pieces where you pop out the circles, what we want to do is paint the piece that goes underneath of them white because that is going to show through. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is start with my white and I'm just going to go ahead and get a coat on all of these under layers here that go underneath the places that are popped out. <laughs> okay, it is a lot of pieces, isn't it? So lots of layers. Um, you do want to pop out the all of the holes. So even the holes here on the sunglasses, pop those out, pop those pop these and pop that little one right there and then the pieces that go underneath of them and um, that we're going to put those open parts over we're going to give those just a base layer of white so that they show through our um all of our little holes that we that we pop the circles out of so just a white base so are you going to paint with me karen you just just hanging out. What you been up to? What you been crafting? I've, it's been for, I feel like it's been forever since I have been on here live. I think it was probably our last BOGO kit, honestly. Um, I know we've had classes in our group, but I think it's been a while since we jumped on here with the, our main page. All right, so just all of these pieces that the circle that the circles are gonna sit over. I want all of those to be white. Now, with your sunglasses, <laughs> that sounds that sounds good. <laughs> if I'm not crafting, that's what I wanna be doing is just um, laying around. Okay, so you can keep all of these pieces in your sunglasses if you want to, but I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out every other one so that I just have to paint those red and then the in, the open spots I'm going to have white underneath. So I like to keep things as simple as possible. So because this is going to show through, I'm going to go ahead and paint this white as well. So just the sunglasses. The rest of this um, cow part I'm going to paint ivory. Isn't this cute? I think um, zero crafts, huh? Babysitting? Oh, so you've had a little one for a week. That's why you got your feet propped up, huh? <laughs> All right, so now that's going to show through. So taking care of that. These I'm not going to use. I'm going to toss those to the side. You can paint those white if you want and keep them as part of your kit. That is totally up to you. Um, but these are the ones that I have picked out to keep. I'm going to paint these red. Okay, so these are red and that one's going to be blue. And then this white is going to show through. 
So I think that is all that I'm gonna do white. Then we're gonna do ivory on the rest of the, this cow part. So this cow is very layered. <laughs> Why are you cringing? Why does that make you cringe? I like it, simple. A lot of this, a lot of these, when you have the layers like this, um, so much of it's covered up, there's just a lot of parts that you don't have to paint. So this is just going to be ivory and our nose will be covering up most of this part right here. And then of course, a lot of our um, main cow face is gonna be covered with all these other pieces too. So, I mean, you can paint it all. I'm trying to, let me figure out. So here, I need to paint all of this ivory. So I'm just gonna give this a little kind of triangle here where it's gonna show through my um, sunglasses. I wanna make sure all that's covered in ivory. Oh, well, yeah, that would be ideal, uh, Karen, but I don't have a lot of workspace here because, you know, craft room. <laughs> hey, Joanna, isn't the cow cute? I'm gonna see it painted now. Hey Lori, how are you? All right, so I'm just giving this a base of ivory. I gave the sunglasses a base of white. I wanna make sure that that's gonna be covered by my, I'm gonna give it a little more ivory right through here. Just like that. <laughs> you didn't like being alone, Karen? Karen wanted some company. <laughs> All right. So I will probably end up putting another coat on this, but for now I'm just gonna move that to the side. So I have the base coat of white on these bottom pieces, and now I'm going to switch over to pink. anybody painting their cow or has already painted their cow oh Lori are you the one you said you had a headache right now oh, it's a party <laughs> Karen I thought the party started when you showed up cat's having a party slinging beads around we have a we have a cat that likes to chase her own tail all day every day and run up and down the stairs with my craft beads she's um very easily entertained all right so our nose gets a base layer of pink and um in your kits we send a lot of different colors we usually just kind of keep it in the range of um you know in the same color range as what we have in our examples but I never get too hung up on colors because I just I just don't I think you can use lots of different colors to create the same kind of a same kind of effect um, but if you got a darker pink and you want it lighter just mix some of your white in there um, I think we sent out some darker pinks so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a layer of pink on here. This bottom part is going to be brown. Um, and then these little pieces are gonna fit over the top. So I'm not gonna concern myself too much with the top or the bottom of the ear. I just wanna get that pink layer on there and then I'm gonna go over it with brown. Oh. Well, hopefully that works for you, Lori. Migraines are the worst. I used to get them a lot, but luckily I haven't had any. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I better knock on wood, huh? It's been a, it's been a little while. Karen, I'm pretty sure that the instruction sheet says that. Did we not put that on there to pop out all the little circles? Yeah, you definitely want to pop the circles out. 
and then the holes up here line up. Are those the ones you're talking about? They line up with the, the pieces that fit over them. All right, so got my pink on there. Now um, we could go to the brown or we could just go straight here to the red and the blue. I think I'll go ahead and get the red and blue knocked out real quick. Hi, Cheryl, welcome, first time. Do you have a cow kit? Are you just watching? Yeah, I know, um, I know quite a few people have already painted the cow, and I figured that that would happen just because it's a, a patriotic door hanger, and, you know, the fourth is among us. <laughs> so, yes, Karen, there's an instruction sheet. <laughs> there's supposed to be an instruction sheet. We send them with all our kits unless they have tutorials already done. Um, but like I said, I know a lot of people have been painting them. I've seen them uh, posted in the craft kit group. But um, we just like to wait till we get all of these shipped out before we do the live. Anybody have ideas for uh, July bogos? What should we do? What kind of options should we give for July? Still, that's the heat of summer. Oh, good. Cheryl, you'll love this subscription. It's so much fun. Are you in the, um, are you in the Creative Outlet group already? <clears throat> yeah, the subscription box is a lot of fun. Every month is a, actually, I think it's still open, too, um, for anybody that's still interested. It won't be for long, but we did, um, get a bigger, mach uh, another machine. We added another machine so we can cut more faster. So we can leave the box open a little bit longer. So before we had to kind of shut it down, um, in time for us to be able to get everything done and shipped at the beginning of the month. <laughs> now I know everybody's not missing a cow instruction sheet. We, we put them in the bags with the, um, paint. Yeah, they should be there. Oh, a drink or owls. That, those are good ideas. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we've stuck the sheets in all the, the kits. Maybe, maybe just missed it. I, I could see maybe forgetting a couple, one or one maybe, but. <laughs> No, y'all got sheets, I'm telling you. It was in there. It says, Cool Cow Kit Instructions. And we printed off a bunch of them and we sent them out. I know it. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we started sending them with the BOGO, even though we're doing a, um, even though we're doing a, um, video especially this month because I figured so many people wouldn't want to wait so they could get it on their door in time for um, 4th of July for the whole month. Joanna, you got a friend. Hi, Stephanie. Ice cream for BOGO? Like an ice cream cone? Oh, we just did um, ice cream cone string art in Holy Creatives. That was super cute. We did a tie-dye background. <laughs> We've got a lot of groups with a lot of different crafts. <laughs> I know. I know. I feel bad for some of our our friends there and all our little ventures because I know because I have a hard time keeping all the groups straight. So I know they do too. <laughs> but yeah, we have one for the box and one for the um, string art and business membership, and then we have our free group. Uh, craft kits where we do a free, a free class every month, which by the way was just posted. Did y'all see the rooster for um, your free class next month? You can paint it on canvas um, or you can order the door hanger kit that says welcome to our coop because y'all know I have a, a farm. Most of you, a lot of you probably know. Jumbo fudge pop with melting top. Okay, are we talking about a door hanger here? Oh, good, Lori. I'm glad you found it. I was, I was starting to wonder what we, if we must have been slacking whatever day your all's kits went out. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we usually stick them in the bag because that, <clears throat> so that they don't get um, thrown out with the, sometimes we use the packing paper and don't want them to get thrown out with that. So I'm just doing base coats. Everything will probably need another one. Um, so base coats, I'm gonna do black and I'm gonna do brown still. So the glasses in the example are black, but you could definitely switch that up and do something else, some other color. Porch leaner. Porch leaner for, for the BOGO, Oh my goodness, you trying to trying to make me work, huh? <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, we do sell finished porch leaners and those are um, stressful enough. I don't know about sending BOGO kits porch leaners, if, if that's what you're talking about. We thought about doing porch leaner kits, it's just so much. Um, that's why we did that in the craft kit group for the free kit last month <laughs> so y'all could kind of get your own materials because when because we ship in great big boxes and it's just a lot of work I don't know if that's what you're referring to or if I missed something um, but you already make a bunch of porch leaners don't you Karen You know, I still never did get a bow on that um, patriotic one. Extra large and okay, okay, got I gotcha. Yeah, that would be cute. We'll throw some ideas out there and let y'all vote on it. It may go your way. <laughs> oh, the BOGO buy one get one free. So. Every um, month, at the beginning of the month, when we release a bunch of new kits, we throw a couple out for y'all to vote on, um, and we call it our Craft and Connect project. So, you get two of the whichever one y'all vote on that wins, you get two of those kits for the price of one. Um, and then that's just so you and a friend can get together, and then we paint it live, which is what we're doing. This was what they voted on um, this month. So like the first week of every month, you can order whatever kit um, is BOGO. Yeah. Tear tray kit. Oh yeah, that would be fun. We had, um, we did do a sale on the tear trays over the weekend and we just, we just shipped a ton of those. We shipped a lot of those out today. <laughs> and there, there's so many little pieces um, that we that we had to piece together. It's like doing puzzles. So we felt like we were doing puzzles all day, trying to get all the little tiered tray pieces together. <laughs> but yeah, those are fun. And I think my favorite one right now is the um, the apple tiered tray kit that we have. Um. No, so if as long as you're following our Facebook, Cheryl, uh, you, we usually post the voting inside the, the free craft kit group, but also here on our main page. So you'll get to um, vote, and then you should see us post a lot about the BOGO kit that first week. We usually give it about seven days for people to order, um, and then we turn off we turn off that coupon code because otherwise we, we would cut nothing but BOGO kits all month, and we can't do that. So. Um, we post a lot, a lot about it though, so you shouldn't miss it. Um, but yeah, we just do the video here on our main page. That's what we're doing here tonight. I'm just doing a second coat of red on these pieces. A ladder and a tray, did you, Lori? A ladder and a tray? I don't know who ordered what keep it all straight I know we just I know we sent a bunch out and um, then we still have a few we still have a few more of those to get out baseball softball no you're fine Cheryl I don't mind answering the questions that's what I'm here for um yeah we cut baseball softball is it that season I don't even know I, I don't keep up with all that I have no idea 
I'm sure. We got some things in the works. I'm sure we'll come up with something. <laughs> sea background. Ocean creatures. Sea grass. That would be cute, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. See? Okay. So, I think I have all of my red done. Find my blue again. Is this blue? Don't look like there's it's black. <laughs> I got all my colors mixed up. Alright. So I'm just kind of working on some second coats here. Okay. Alright, so the brown is gonna be the big big color. Whoops. Yeah, I don't really know what we're going to put out next month. Right now, um, we're just working on getting our subscription boxes done in between our orders and stuff. So, I'm kind of a procrastinator. And this is Crimson. Apple Barrel Crimson is the red that I'm using. Um, so, I kind of... Like I put a lot of planning and stuff into the boxes and the templates for the membership, but when it comes to new kits, I kind of like fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> uh, it may not even be that same color, Karen. Like I said, we, um, we use lots of different colors that are just in the same family to send in the kits. We just get them really close, but we don't get hung up on specifics. That's what, even when I do classes and stuff, I never give the names of the actual paint because I very rarely use the same color twice. <laughs> I just grab what I'm feeling in the moment. So, okay, I think I have all of my base, my base colors done. Let me throw a little bit more pink on this nose. <clears throat> then we'll get our layer of brown. I'm going to shade some of the ivory in around the um around the um what was I saying <laughs> lost my train of thought oh around the nose we'll do some dry brushing country nights with fireflies that'd be cute yeah it'd be fun it's a good idea We, um, we have lots of country nights and fireflies around here. <laughs> I think that's the best part of living in the country is go outside and it's like pitch black. Nothing but lightning bugs everywhere. That'd be cute. Butterflies are my favorite. I'm really surprised that I don't do more with butterflies because I love them. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. We should paint a butterfly. Alright, so let's work on this brown and then I will probably have to do another coat of white on some of these uh, bottom pieces. So whatever brown you got, um, if you want, you can add a little bit of black just to make it darker. So you do have um, control on how dark you want your cow to be. So an extra, extra large dragonfly. Well, you know, um, we, we just got a new machine and we have to get it set up and stuff, which takes time, um, but it cuts big. So, we could do an extra, extra large. I can't wait to get that thing running. I can't remember what the thing cut up to like 48 inches by 20 something. I don't even know. It's just big. I'm excited. So, this is 
I guess it's dark enough. I don't know. I kind of want to darken it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I am excited to get that thing going. I'm ready to cut something very big. But it'll t it takes time to get all those set up. And, and it's different than what we are used to using. So I don't know how long it's going to take to get everything set up and get programs learned and all that. So... All right, I am darkening my brown just a little bit. You're, you're excited too, huh? Yeah. Um, lots of new projects. Lots of big projects. I decided I didn't like the, um, the that color brown, so I just put a little black and now it's a lot darker. So we'll just go ahead and, and paint this bottom part of the cow face brown. I wanted it to be like a deep chocolate brown. We used to have a, a cow that was really dark brown. She was so sweet. And then we went out one day and um, she'd had a baby. <laughs> we didn't even know she was pregnant. We had just bought her. And um, we got two for the price of one, apparently. But we do not keep cows anymore. Because they, they're cute, but they're um, not my thing, taking care of them. They're like little escape artists. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing brown, even though a lot of this is going to be covered up um, with these other pieces. And then I'm going to go to tag extra large set for hanging with stencil title. Yeah, I've thought about doing that too. Um, it's It's been on my list to do door tags forever and I just haven't got around to it. So you're excited too, Marcy. <laughs> Y'all are funny. All right, so I'm gonna take this brown and just kind of curve it around the bottom here. Probably should have used a smaller brush, but. That'd be cute too, fireflies and mason jars. I like that. That's a good idea. Look, y'all are gonna have me in the mood to get off here and start designing and painting new things. It's only, what, the 23rd of June? I got like a week left <laughs> before July starts. I know it's, it's uh, flying by though as always you know the older we get the faster it goes I think all right so I'm gonna take a fan brush and just right along here I'm just gonna kind of dry brush some brown I really need more workspace <laughs> all right just kind of give this a uh, hairy look right through here so I'm just lightly kind of tapping right along that um, where they touch. So I'm just dipping this fan brush into my brown and kind of wiping it off to do kind of a dry brush right here along the edges. Just tapping that right along here. You know what I have started looking at though is um, fall. Fall is my favorite. I cannot wait. Start getting into some pumpkin. Um, 
tear tray stuff, fall, Christmas. I love the holidays. It's so exciting. All right, let's probably need another coat here. I'm not worrying about these tops because those are going to be covered. I do need to paint these brown. So these are going to be at the, we're just going to glue these on. <laughs> yes, this, that would be cute. I do too, Lori. It's my favorite. <clears throat> the weather's just right. Colors and I know, I know you know I love all things pumpkin. Karen, isn't it you that don't like anything pumpkin? I think you, I think we talked about that on our last, um, last BOGO class. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I think that'll be covered up. Um, I guess I need to pop out these little circles here. The end of a paintbrush works great if you get, <laughs> if you have kits with circles still in them. Fall's your favorite too, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, so lots of, I love it all. I love to eat, drink, eat, everything pumpkin. I love pumpkin decor. So, and there's just so many options. All right, let me see what I got going on here. So I think that is going to cover that up. Let me make sure. Yep. So I messed up right here and went a little bit too far, but that's going to be covered, so it doesn't matter. What? Lori, y'all, we can't be friends anymore. No. <laughs> oh, it's the best. Pumpkin spice. Mm. Um, The earpieces, yes, they go at the top here, and they fit right into this piece which I'm gonna paint these again because they um, need another coat so let's get that second coat of white on and then we'll do some um, dry brushing right through here with the ivory and then we'll glue it together so we're real close to being done here um yeah I like um I do like a good pumpkin spice latte, but I just let like pumpkin bread, um, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pancakes. <laughs> okay, gotcha in your coffee. I would not drink um, any pumpkin coffee on a daily basis, but I do love a good pumpkin spice latte. I don't think I could start my day off that way though. I have to have my my hazelnut coffee with my um, almond milk. That gets me going in the morning. Yeah. I like all the pumpkin desserts. But yeah. As far as pumpkin coffees. I've tried the, the creamers and all that. And that's, that's actually not my thing. So as much as I love pumpkin, I don't care for... Or the creamers and things that go in my morning coffee. I really probably should have an apron on. Uh, <laughs> Just none of it, huh? Just no pumpkin for you. Ooh, pumpkin donuts, like pumpkin cake, cake donuts. Mm, so good. All right. I guess all the sweet stuff with pumpkin, but I've seen like a lot of recipes using pumpkin um, as like side dishes and things for dinners, and I don't, those aren't really my thing. I like the sugary pumpkin stuff, which I really probably need to stay away from. Okay, so we have all of our base coats. Oh, no we don't, I lied. Let me get this, um, let me do this again. This is gonna show through our sunglasses. I just wanna do another coat right here. And 
then we'll be ready almost to start piecing this together. talking about food we're all gonna want to get off here and go eat huh <laughs> yeah I love painting pumpkins that's my favorite thing to paint in the fall okay so I think the only other thing I'm gonna do and I just slung um slung paint everywhere let me fix this all right, so I'm just covering up this where I slung this white paint. And then what I'm gonna do is take my fan brush, which still has brown on it. I'm just gonna dip it in this ivory. I'm going to brush off the excess so that it's dry. Let me see. And right here where um, this is going to be seen, I'm gonna kind of brush some of this right through here, okay? So we're just gonna give this kind of a hairy look. If you get it too bright, just put some more dark, put some dark over it, some more brown. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> the cat is chasing that bead all over the place. Yeah, and I guess we got a new kitten. Listen, y'all. Like, we don't have enough animals. Yet, I was by myself at the house the other day and I kept hearing these squeaky noises, right? Uh, Marcy. <laughs> Can't tell y'all are sisters, huh? Um, these little squeaky noises in my house, couldn't find where it was coming from. Thought I was losing my mind, y'all, all day long. I kept looking for the this, this whatever was making these squeaky noises. Now what I discovered is that my kid was harboring a stray kitten in her bedroom closet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. My life could be a uh, reality TV show sometimes. <laughs> it is cute. It is sick. It needs lots of medication, um, a vet, and um, like we don't have enough animals. I guess we're gonna keep it. It's staying outside though. It's gonna have to be with a barn cat or something. <laughs> we have enough animals. Okay, so everything is painted. Okay, so we just need to glue. Let's see if I, I don't even know if I have enough glue here. Let's see. I don't know where my big things of glue are. I think I packed them up for a class and they never made their way back. Yeah, why is it sick? I guess just because it was a stray that was outside. I don't know. It has um, a respiratory infection, ear mites, um, like a weepy eye. It, it's half deaf. I don't know. It's just, it needs some help. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough glue here to glue all this together. But we're going to get it, we're going to get it taken care of, I guess. But I don't, I don't like surprises like that. <laughs> so, um, everybody's grounded for sneaking an animal. <laughs> um, but we'll do what we can, I guess. All right. Anyways, so what we're going to do is glue this now. I guess since I don't have enough glue to do the whole thing, I'm going to show you when you put glue on the back of these, you want to basically take your little glue and touch it to the back of the wood and spread it around. Okay, you do not want any big globs. You don't want any big globs of glue um, because this will ooze out through your holes and not look very nice. Okay, so we want to just kind of rub it. Um, where, where you're, there's no globs of glue. So I'm touching it and just kind of spreading it. You want it kind of like peanut butter. I'm just getting the edges here. And then when you fit this down, 
this should line up right here. So this is where your um, hanger is gonna go. You're gonna put twine in here. <laughs> Big losing container with fabric scissors. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, well, this doesn't look very, this doesn't look any better. I don't think I'm gonna get any glue out of this. But anyways, um, so that'll line up and then this will line up with the holes here. So you can, um, put your twine through both pieces. Now this glue won't set right away, so you get E6000. Um, just make sure that you leave this flat until it's dried for a couple hours or all your pieces will slide down. Yeah, my glue situation is dire right now. All right, so you're gonna glue this on. These go right up against this. Um, and then this gets pretty thick because of all the layers here. So you can kind of offset this. Just kind of play around with it. Put everything where you want it and then start gluing. Um, if you use all these layers, it gets pretty tall, okay? But if you want those white, the white to show through there, you'll want to stack it all. All right, we got our little nose. These fit right inside of here, just like that. Yeah, I usually use um, I usually use like soup cans. Sometimes I'll just um, stack them. I painted the wrong side of this. Well, shoot. Anything heavy, you can set on top of it. So I just painted the wrong side of that. Let me. Um, the kitten that my daughter decided to harbor inside her closet that I did not know about. That kitten. Because we already have a million animals on our little farm and I keep saying no more no more no more and I keep showing up all right so I'm gonna put this here so I am gonna go back and glue this later um but for now I'm just gonna place everything where it goes Yeah, I was telling them I kept hearing squeaky noises all day and I couldn't find where it was coming from and I thought I was losing my mind. Finally, I was like, there is something making noise in here. So she would cleaned out her whole closet and like turned it into a cat hotel and they had this little bitty stray kitten in there. Because <laughs> clearly she knew I would not let her keep it. So how long she thought she was going to be able to hide a screaming kitten, I have no idea. But um, yeah, she's grounded and we have another cat. <laughs> I can't make this up, y'all. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not a snake. Wow. Inner coat pocket. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I won't complain too much about a kitten in the house then. <laughs> yeah, that would freak me out. All right, so I'll, I'll glue all this later. All that's left would be to put um, something to hang it with. You could use wire or you can use the twine um, that comes in your kit. These are still available on the website if you did not get one. Um, we'll have a new BOGO the first week of July. I did them brown. Um, yeah, I just did the nostrils the same color as the actual cow but you could do black that would be fine all right well i guess we are done here i hope to see lots of finished cows posted inside our um free craft kit group you can order a kit on holyrustic.com otherwise
otherwise I think we're done. I'll try not to go a month again before um, jumping on here and painting with y'all. So thank you for joining me. It's hump day. It's almost Friday. Almost made it. Y'all have a great rest of the week. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, Karen, Lori, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.